These are some of the best Webflow clonables you can access right now and use as your main portfolio. Now, these are all completely free and I've chosen them specifically for very, very different reasons. So make sure you watch to the end of the video to see what portfolio I would recommend for you and exactly why. First one off the bat here is Editorial Freebie by M or by M Design. Now, if I go ahead and reload this entire site, you can see that there's this really nice animation. So we've got Editorial and then M Design. Now, this could come as a little bit of a backfire as some people might not want to wait that long. Long, but as soon as we load into the site, we see that there's a capturing the pure essence of life text and this really nice image. And as you scroll down or as you continue onto the site, there is a lot of things happening here. Number one, we've got this scroll animation to the left, which is continuous, which is really cool. And it says available for new projects. Then we've got some text and some images, but the images are really nicely spaced out. The images are kind of really thought of, right? And this would work really, really great if you have an editorial, if you have more of a fashion portfolio, more of a kind of lifestyle brand maybe. So this would be a great use case for that. However, I wouldn't really recommend this if you are someone that wants to showcase maybe you're working on app design or websites design. So yeah, but that just keep that one in mind. If you're working on fashions, editorials, things, things like that, then this kind of template is perfect for you. Second one here is Hey There, I'm Maddie, and this is by Maddie Design or MaddieSinfetto.Design. And what's really cool about this is that this person's actually using this website as their main portfolio. So you can see that this site is exactly the same on the clonable as it is on the real URL here. So this is very similar to my portfolio. Actually, if you haven't seen that one before, I do recommend you go check out that video. However, it has its own unique points here. So number one, there's really huge text that explains exactly what this person is doing. And the reason why I think this is a great portfolio is because it highlights some of the most important projects that this person's done. It highlights their personality. It highlights all the things that I think should be in a portfolio. And I've also made a video about that. So if you do want to watch that, then I also recommend it right there. However, the cool thing about this is that it has multiple pages. So when I go ahead and click on Onto, the, onto one of the projects, we see that there's a piece of text here. So simple stage, simple stage is a project management. So it has a description and then the images are nice and big. It explains exactly what this person is doing. It explains their research, how they got to the to the end result, the typography they used. It has a, an entire design system here, which is incredible, right? So this is an incredible design system and portfolio that you guys can use and copy right now in the Webflow clonable tab. Also a side note here, that's really amazing. If you do scroll down here, there is a Gaussian blur effect that's happening here with the text and with the descriptions here and the tags. And I just want to point that out because it's chef's kiss right there. It's amazing. Next up is empathy path 11.webflow.io. And again, this is a Webflow clonable, which is incredible. So this portfolio is again, is going to be amazing. If you are a studio, if you're a editorial, something like that, right? And the reason why this is so great is if we scroll down, you'll see exactly why. So as we scroll, we have a few different tabs here, a few different sections. Number one, we've got services, we've got about us, we've got our work, and then we've got some of the projects that this person has done, right? Or like case studies. And you might be asking, why is this so great? Why is this so good for you or for me, right? Well, something I talk a lot about on this channel is using sections in a smart way, but having basic layouts, except using good imagery, good text, good fonts to bring that layout up uh, a new notch, right? To bring that layout out and really exemplify what you are as a designer. Now, again, if you are a studio, if you're an agency, this is a great portfolio for you to use. Here we've got some recent news. This could be like blogs or this could be uh, maybe articles that you've written. Perhaps it could be people have talked about you and you want to showcase it, right? anything that you really want to showcase, it'd be a great way to, to do that. But again, this is a great portfolio if you're an agency, a studio, a editorial, anything like that. So moving on here, this is a very simple portfolio. It's hello, I'm Indy Harris. And this is almost like a CV sheet, right? If you can imagine like an A4 paper, this is exactly what that is. So we have a very simple text here, which would be our A1. We've got the location. So we've got hello, I'm Indy Harris. We've got I'm a customer service advocate in sunny Melbourne. So this is almost like if you want to have the very minimal the very basics, just a picture of you, some text, then this is a great way to do that. As you scroll down, we've got a little bit about me, so a little description, and then very easily some projects that you've done, some case studies, and you don't need to get too crazy, too ridiculous with the animations, with the entire system, right? It's very simple. If you have a simple system, then it will work. That's all the point of this entire video is, right? If you have a website that conveys the information about what you're doing, your personality, your projects, a little bit about yourself, who you are, if you're good to work with, your process, then this is how you do that, right? I mean, this this could be a little bit more complex, right? You could actually click into one of these and it'd give you a little bit more of a description, a little bit more about the project, but everything we have here is great for just the absolute bare minimum, right? This is great for just the basics. If you want to get started from zero to one, then this is the one 
go ahead and clone that right now. So moving on to the last one here, but not the least by any means of the imagination, I want to give a good big shout out to darrenhoff.me because this website is nothing short of incredible. So this is a portfolio that I've seen various times in the Webflow clonables page or the tab being recommended a bunch of times. And I mean, it's just incredible. As we scroll down, we see that there's a simple animation here to go from left to right and also to move the image as kind of like a skew, right? And that's easy to do in the in the animations. And again, the cool thing about these clonables is that we can actually see exactly how this is done. So that's one of the big points of having a clonable instead of like a template, which is if you don't want to actually buy it, you can see how people designed it and built it. And then we can go ahead and get into it. So if we go ahead and scroll through the entire site here, we see all these small animations that just appear. So, hey, Darren here. And then the small hand that just pops up, right? That's, I mean, that's incredible. If I see this as a client or as a, as someone that wants to work with this person, that little piece is something that just elevates the entire experience to a new dimension, right? To the stratosphere. So as you scroll through here, we have similar to the first website where we have images and text floating around, but this is more constrained. This is more structured. And we can see that it is very structured because of how this person is trying to separate it, right? So we've got a spa day website. We've got a law office website. We've got a music website, a barbecue thing, whatever. This is a very cool way of showing all these different projects, except without it being too crazy as we had in the very first one, right? So one thing I would improve with this website, as good as it is, is the ability to go ahead and click into a new project or the ability to go ahead and see more information about the project that I'm interested in, that I want to click, right? Right now, all it does is it takes me to the website of the client or the, the real life website, but I'd like to see a little bit more about the user experience, how you got there, maybe the research, the design system like we had previously in one of the previous websites. But for now, this is incredible, right? So as you scroll down, we've got an even cooler section, believe it or not. So as we scroll down, we've got some of the skills of what this person does. So we've got the strategy, we scroll down, we've got some design, we scroll down some more, we got some development. So as we can see, everybody could have done this, right? Everybody does these basic skills like design, like SEO, like development, except adding that extra layer to it will just elevate your entire experience. It'll elevate how many clients want to work with you. It will elevate your entire brand. So as we scroll down here, we've got a contact button. We've got a little bit about him. So again, we're showcasing the personality. I'm a happy husband, dog, father, musician. And as we scroll on top of these images, we've got some gifts, we've got some images. So we show exactly how this person is as a human. We show the case, the personality without it just being, okay, you want to work with me? Here are my skills. This is what I do. More of a CV structure, right? This is more personality driven, which I think is just leaps better than anything I've seen before. And if I was a client right now looking to work with this person, well, then I jump to the opportunity, right? And the amazing thing is, again, this is a clonable. So if we want to have this website for ourselves, well, then it's just right here, right? We can just clone it and it'll be ours for the end of time. So if you guys want to see more videos that I've done about portfolios in the past, then also check out the videos I mentioned in this video and also the next one coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.